Hello, my friends, my warriors. This is Mary Mack of The Mary Mack Show. I want to do follow up with you about my book that talks about how to help your children, teens, and your family deal with no screens, no electric, no tech. Now, in the last episode that I spoke to you about this, I think it was episode 249, a few episodes back, you can go and listen in. And that episode spoke directly to your family. But this episode, I want to speak to you because as parents and as adults, we've seen what's happened with Hurricane Milton and worse with Hurricane Helene over in the Appalachians. And that is not a pretty sight. Everyone that has really looked into what's happened over there, full towns being demolished, houses just lifted up off the land and brought downstream with the raging waters. Things that people never consider could happen in their own lives. But it did, and it is, and people are helping. So many wonderful volunteers have stepped up to come into Eastern Tennessee and Western North Carolina to make people's lives just a little bit better, those who have lost everything. So I ask you today, what if that happened to you? It wouldn't only be a case of not having electric, it would be a case of not having anything no clothes, no home. All your possessions floated down the river. If you had to start all over again, what would you do? We've learned that you can't rely on government anymore. They're not there to help us. The only people who will come to your rescue are your neighbors and kind-hearted people who will bring their own helicopters to rescue you or bring you food, medicine, and water to where you're located, deep in the hills of North Carolina and in Tennessee as well, where they couldn't even get out of their communities to safety because all the rivers washed away the bridges and the roads. Amazing, actually, quite amazing. I can't even imagine what those people are going through. Just to try to reclaim their lives, they live day to day. And if you had no electric, and if you had lost everything, you'd be living day to day also. And in the future, we have no idea what's going to happen, especially in the United States. The government cannot be relied on. Our elected officials cannot be relied on to do the right thing either. The vast majority of them, they're only in it for themselves. Now you may think that's a little harsh for me to say, but you know down deep, that's the truth. They'll, they're all bought and paid for by political action committee money. Not, they don't vote the way that the population wants them to vote. The people who put them into place, into office. So as we move forward and an election is coming up in a few weeks, be aware, who do you want to run your government? Who do you want to try to reestablish this country? Because right now, we all know it's going in the wrong direction. And people can't even buy groceries and the basic essentials of life that they need. So you keep that in mind as we move toward Election Day. But right now, I want you to really think about how would you handle a home with no electricity? What would you say to your children? How would you help them adjust to a time 
where they couldn't live their life in the manner in which they were accustomed to. They couldn't just turn on their tablets. They couldn't play on social media with their friends. They couldn't post on social media. They couldn't do anything computer related, internet related. They wouldn't be able to use their consoles for gaming. All that would go by the wayside. And you, you'd have no appliances, no electrical appliances at your, you know, at your youth that you could use on a regular basis. No washing machine, no dishwasher, no dryer, no TV. I think to myself how difficult it would be without any of those so-called luxuries, but we take them for granted, don't we? It's very important that you think to yourself, what did people use or do when there were none of these appliances? That they had to wash their clothes by hand, their dishes by hand, and dry them with a cloth. And even babies, there were no plastic diapers back then. There were cloth diapers that had to be washed out. Not a nice th thought, but that's the way life was. What else? We didn't have um, microwaves to cook fast meals. We only used ovens. And if there's no electricity, that oven won't work either. Do you have the staples you need? Do you have all the things you need in your home food-wise? Cleaning supplies. Do you have a, a line where you can hang your clothes with clothes pins like we used years ago? Do you have any of that? Now, if you go back, another few episodes, I talk about all the things you need to be able to sustain your life and how important it is for you to get all of that now. Don't put it off. This is a time like we've never lived before and we don't know what's going to happen on the other side. There are wars and rumors of other wars and there always seems to be enough money to help Ukraine and Israel and everybody else. And there's always enough money to help illegal aliens, but not for the American citizen and definitely not for the people who lost everything in Hurricane Helene or Milton. $750, one-time payment. How far do you think that's gonna go? When you have no home, no clothes, no, car, nothing to sustain you in everyday life. So as I said, our government is worthless right now. Their attitude toward their own citizens is quite frightening because we are witnessing a time where we really realize <laughs> that they're not for us. If anything, they're against us. And I just want you to remember that when you go to the polls to vote in the next few weeks, whether you vote early or by absentee ballot or in person on voting um, on election day itself, November 5th. You have the power to make a difference by voting. Don't put it off. You have to get up and go vote. You must make your voice known. Don't just click a certain button because everybody in your family was raised that way. When you go into the voting booth, nobody knows how you voted. So go do the right thing, okay? And go back a couple episodes and listen to everything I talk about regarding not having electric and how you need to help your children, especially in teens, 
be aware that this could come into our lives and how they would handle it. And also make sure you listen to the list I give of all kinds of things that you need to be having in your home. Everything from food supplies to batteries, candles, things you need when there's no light in the evening, tarps, things for your home, okay? There are so many things that you need to be prepared with if the inevitable happens. Because the people in East Tennessee and, North, and Western North Carolina, while they never suspected they would ever have to deal with hurricanes in their part of the country that would flood them to devastating, devastating levels. So I wish you the very best. You know I love you. And send me questions in the comments section below if you're in need of advice on this topic or leave a comment on how you feel about all of this that's going on in our country right now. Like, subscribe, especially so more people will get this word. I love you. I'll talk to you again soon.